For Avodah Zarah, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Gimel, third mission of the first chapter of Masechet Avodah Zarah, we learned that the Eyom Edehem shall go in three days beforehand. You were not allowed to do uh, have business practices, take loans, etc., of non-Jews, because then they would go and give thanks to their gods on their on the days of their libation. So what are these days? Kalenda, Ustar Nura, Ukartesim, Viyom Genusia Shel Melachim. V'yom haleida, v'yom hamita. We're going to translate all these. Divrei Rabbi Meir. Those are the words of Rabbi Meir. So, kalenda. What's kalenda? So, we, there's a lot of information on the on the on the internet, which is amazing. Kalenda, okay. And starnura. What is kalenda? Kalenda, okay, is the first of the v'yom rishon, the Yanuar, the first of January. They celebrated kalends Januaris. Kalende. So we go to Wikipedia. What was kalends? Great. Kalends was the first day of every month of the Roman calendar. It was the first of January, the beginning of the calendar. Okay, so that was Kalends, and we learned from the calendar. That's what the, let's look at the Bartunur for a second. Kalenda. Shmona yamim achar tkufat tevet, eight days after the tkufa of tevet, the 25th of December. Okay, the tkufa of tevet. Okay, that's Kalenda. Starnura. Starnura. Okay, this, he says, was Saturnalia, an ancient Roman festival in honor of the god Saturn, of Adazara. Held on the 13th December of the Jew, 17th December of the Julian calendar, later expanded. The holiday was celebrated with a sacrifice at the Temple of Saturn, public banquet, gift giving, continuing partying, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so that's Starnura. Kratesi. Oh, by the way, the Bartunu is really fascinating. What is, what is Starnura? Eight days, eight days before the Tufa. The Vishara, Adam Arvisha, there's a Midrash about that. Adam Arvisha, Adam, Adam first saw. He saw that the days were getting smaller and smaller, meaning the first day, the free was the first creation. He was kicked out of the Garden of Eden, and days were getting shorter. Maybe because I sinned, the world is going to go back to nothingness, because the days are getting shorter and shorter, and get back to nothing. So he sat eight days in fasting. So when the, the seasons changed, right, the the, I don't remember the equinox, whichever one it is. So then the, the days start getting longer after the 25th of December. 17th of December, maybe 17th. Amar, you can tell me in our email. Oh, that's the way the world is. Amar, we made eight holidays. They made very holidays. But who? He made a holiday to God. But they made them, and this is the right theme in the Rambam, that they took. Originally, the dedication was to God, and those forces became considered gods themselves. That's what Star Nura was. Star Nura. Ukartesim. What's Kartesim? Yom Tfisat Bo Amalchut Ukvam Yom Eid. So it's the day that an emperor or a king, a monarch, arose to power, and that was a holiday. Yom Gunusia Shel Malachim. Yom Gunusia Shel Malachim. Gunusia Yom Shema Amidim Bo Melech. The day they appoint a king. Okay, one is Fisat Malchut, one is Gendu, they, they appoint a king. Okay? V'yom Aleida, V'yom Hamita, the day of the day of birth, and the day of birth of the king, the day of the death of a king, that, that, meaning in whatever uh, whatever municipalities that would make it a holiday. That's the day of Dibre Abimir. V'chachamim, Amim, Chachamim say, Kol Mita Sheyesh Ba Sreifa, Yesh Ba, what is that? If it's a death that has a burning, okay, what burning, what did they burn? The Bartunura says, so if he was an important enough person that they burned his clay tashmish, and nobody should use it, his utensils, his vessels, then, then there is a Vodazar rules. But if it's She'en Basweifa, if they didn't burn it, if he wasn't that important, I guess, if it was a day that they didn't burn it, then, okay, that is not considered Ein Vodazar, that is not considered a day that's prohibited for Avodazara. Now go to regular people. Yom Tik Lachat Zikano. The day a person shaved his beard of any non-Jew. That was considered a day of shaving your beard. It was a big deal. Ublorito. The blorit is the is his like blorit is the hair that he grew. They grew their hair, okay? That they would leave on his forehead. That they would not, they would only cut them once a year. A blorit. They would grow their blorit. Okay? Or Yom Sha'alabom on a day that he came back from a trip. That was considered a day that he that was uh, that he was saved. He would he would offer sacrifices to his gods. A day that he got out of prison. And an Andrew that made a, a party for his son, the day of his son's wedding. Okay, all of those are days they give thanks to God. We also give thanks to God, but they give thanks to their gods. Therefore, in all those days for normal people, 
That day is prohibited. You do you can't do business with that guy. I mean, it's not considered national if it's personal. So it's very interesting that you have national religious holidays and then you have personal holidays. So for national holidays, three days before everybody. For personal holidays, the day that he shaves his beard, he cut gets a haircut. The day that he was saved from the for that he that he was saved from the sea. The day that he got out of prison, he's making a wedding for his son. That's only personal. That's only that, Andrew. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Bitzchak Kalman. If you have any information about the equinoxes and all that, I'm not so good about that stuff. Email me at rswalter at gmail.com. Have a good day.